All right, hello everybody. It's been a while since I put a video on it because I've been very busy here at the shop. But what we're going to do now is learn how to change a shift cable, which is very simple on a Chevy Tahoe. I think this is 01 or 02 or 03. It's pretty much the same. This one is broken, as you was able to see. Uh, what we're going to do, you have to take that disconnect that cable from the linkage there on the transmission. You can take a screwdriver and put it under there, like there. Um, I'm trying to do it with one hand while holding the camera to show you. I'm going to just push it off here. It's broken. So it's a grommet on that cable. fits right in that tab. And it fits in this bracket. There is supposed to be a clip there, but this one didn't have a clip. Somebody had something sticking up here that wasn't right. So now what we do, you have to follow the cable. We're underneath the truck right now. Uh, so you follow the cable and you will see places that, that are holding the cable. Little brackets, plastic brackets, they could be metal brackets. Um, so you want to try to follow the cable and remember how that cable has been situated to get back to the transmission because uh, the new cable will have to be ran the same way. So here you're taking off this bracket and we're going to switch to one side over here so we could see where it's running and how it goes through the floorboard right there. Alright, so now what you're going to have to do, there's a, a tab that uh, fits inside the underbody of the vehicle. And you're going to have to cut that off and then remove it later because there is a tab that comes on the cable that you just push up in the hole. So if you can't pull it out, then you can try to use some pliers or cut it with um, cutters to get it out like the ones I'm showing you right now. Get some cutters in there and cut that plastic part that holds the cable there. Again, I always tell you, make sure you see how you to route it. You must pay attention to that. So right now I'm trying to cut this cable. All right, it's cut there. So once you cut it, you just pull. You can pull the cable out. You're already disconnected from the transmission. So now you have to pull everything out so you can get it out. Okay, now what's left, you got to get it out of that floorboard. But first, we're going to go up to the top. And you, there's some panels that you're going to have to move. Uh, the panel right underneath the steering column, you have to move that. And then this side panel that's coming down. They just pull out. So you would just pull them off because they have clips. And then 
what you see here is the floorboard you have to take the carpet up on this uh, and move it out the way because it runs underneath this carpet and on around to the steering column remember we took the panel off so you you unhook this grommet which is like what was hooked on the bottom of the transmission and then there is a, also a bracket which is also on the transmission at the bottom well this bracket has a clip as you can see so you take the clip out the purpose of that clip is to keep the plastic tabs spread out so they don't slip out of the holder the cable doesn't so what you want to end up having to do here's the tab what you want to end up having having to do is uh, take a screwdriver and push that tab up or you can take uh, some pliers and compress both tabs at the same time and it's going to pop out okay now you again you have to follow the cable see how this is oriented and how it comes up and goes into that bracket that is the steering column bracket um, this is something you're going to have to follow on your own. Um, I'm trying to show you, but it's kind of hard to get a clear picture. But I'm trying to show you how this cable is actually uh, snaked up around that steering column. You just have to pull it from out of that position. But again, note it so that you can put the new cable the same way. Okay, so, so right now only thing I'm doing is trying to route it or take it out of its original routing position or routed position. Excuse me for it being hard to see. Uh, however, again, follow the cable. Now after you get it pulled out, then the next thing you do, you have to lift up your carpet, if you have carpet, in the floor. And then you push that rubber piece through. Okay, you just push it on through and out. And then you pull it out from the bottom. Now, once you have it pulled out, you can, the new cable, you put it on the bench, and you're up here by the adjuster. Uh, so you put the new cable, the two halves together, as it will show you. Just like this. And you push it in. And you try to match the adjustment with the old cable. Okay, when you push it in, the white tab you push down, which is going to stop it from the spring from pushing it back out. This is how you adjust it. Okay, you push it in, then you take the tab, push it down with your thumb, and it won't pop out, and then let the cover cover it. So you probably see that. That cover right there covers that holder. And if you want to adjust it, you pull that cover back and don't let it spring over the stop and you push that stop back up and let the cable out a bit okay so once again you let the, the cover goes over it snaps right over the stop okay now after we get it adjusted we're going to in reinstall it so let's move on to part two